hardware store now to get um, some things for our kitchen. So we are remodeling the kitchen. Um, we are getting some wainscoting, chair rail, uh, baseboards. What else are we getting? Uh, I think that's it. Actually. Oh no, no. So the entryway, like the transition from our living room um, to the dining room, we are going to frame in um, one by sixes. What, with one by sixes. <laughs> burn them to make them look like rustic looking um, and then also build corbels to go in the corner so you have a 90 degree angle and then the corbel goes slanted that way I guess that's a good way to describe it yeah. <laughs> um, Josh when we get back is going to spray another coat of paint so if you don't know our dining room and kitchen was teal color but once it was on the walls I mean I'll admit it it was a little much we thought it would calm down some and I just think it, 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 it didn't make to me like it just looking at it longer it got worse so we're doing that cabinets we still have to install the cabinets a new sink tile the backsplash we got subway tile for the backsplash so we still have to tile that and we're hoping to have all this done in a couple weeks when the electrician comes back to finish up wiring up the outlets and everything. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, and then what else in the kitchen? Uh, so we're installing a dishwasher, so the house currently doesn't have a dishwasher. Thank God, because I didn't think it was a big deal at first hand washing the dishes. Uh, no, after doing it for how many months? Six months? Yeah, about Ten, six months. Yeah, six months or so. It got old. Fast. <laughs> yes, it did. And mainly because we're not disciplined enough to use dishes and then wash them right away. So, um, I'm sure if we were disciplined enough to do that, it wouldn't be so bad. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I don't want to hand wash dishes every day. Sorry. Yeah, right. I mean, that's, that's uh, tedious as well. Um, so... Yeah, getting the dishwasher installed, uh, putting the new sink in, got to um, run some new pipes uh, for the drainage, um, and then, yeah, uh, get another coat of paint on the walls in the kitchen. Um, so we bought a sprayer instead of hand rolling it this time, and I'm never rolling another room again. That sprayer is where it's at. And it was just a cheap little uh, electric sprayer that I bought on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. It was only like 60 bucks um, and it works phenomenal. Um, I also plan on using it for staining the deck. Uh, oh. So that's going to work out really well too because it does paints, um, stains, lacquers, you know, all that stuff. That's a good idea. That's another project which I don't know that we'll get to before winter comes. Uh, I really want to though because I want to put that protective coat on there after I pressure washed everything off of it. Yeah, I just don't think we're going to get to it. So what we've realized is that we have way About a too, million projects going on. Yeah, way too many projects going on right now. Like they take longer than we think. Yeah, longer than we thought it would take. Um, and then, you know, with Josh's back and the surgery, that kind of delayed us in getting stuff done, too. Uh, yeah, we've still got to run solar out to the chicken coop, which is a whole nother video, before winter comes. That way they have heat inside the coop, because if not, yeah. we're going to have some frozen birds. Well, so. if not, I'm going to be running some wonky electrical cords out there <laughs> and out in the elements, and I definitely don't want to do that. Worst case scenario, though, we could do that. Yeah. We could. Um, get some nice outdoor heavy-duty extension cords, run it, run from, it from the, the shed, shed yeah. to the coop, because our shed does have power ran yeah, to it's it. It's only about 100 yeah, uh, about 100 feet actually but from the shed that has on grid power um, to the coop. So, absolute worst case scenario if we don't get the um, solar running up and running before winter, uh, we absolutely can run an outdoor extension cord about 100 feet um, from on grid in the shed out to the coop. They'll have the heat lamps, they'll have a way to stay nice and toasty, and um, a pump for the water. Yeah, and a, and a little fountain pump for the water to keep it flowing so it doesn't freeze, so that the water's constantly moving. 
hopefully it'll stop it from freezing. Um, also, uh, a lot of people who subscribe to this channel know I'm actually a software engineer. Um, my, that's my career that I do. So, if time permits, uh, if not this season, definitely by next season, I'm actually going to write um, a little software program and use a temperature sensor and a, a little microcontroller. Um, so like a Raspberry Pi or a, a ESP32, if, if you're familiar with that sort of stuff. And um, basically, as it's going to sense the temperature with the temperature sensor, and if it drops below, uh, say like 50 degrees, then I'll trigger the um, heat lamp to turn on and raise the temperature up. And then once it gets up above, say, 80 degrees or 75 degrees, I'll turn it off. So that way it'll automatically gauge the temperature, um, kind of like one of those smart thermostats, like those Nest thermostats, uh, except for I'm not going to spend $200 on it. It's not going to be wired into, um, you know, the, the central system. Um, so yeah, anyway, fun, ton, tons of projects. He's so smart. Well, I don't know about that. But yeah, so that's all we have planned for today. Um, I'm ready to get our kitchen back in order. Not, you would think like <laughs> not having a kitchen sink or whatever is yeah. not a big deal. Let me tell you, it is. And it sucks so bad. <laughs> I do dishes. Like we're trying to reuse as many dishes as we can. And use like paper plates. Yeah, stuff. paper plates, plastic, um, like silverware, whatever. But doing dishes in the bathroom sink is not ideal. It's really small. And it just, yeah. Not a fun time right now. No. But alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.